What's up, guys? This is going to be my uh, contest entry for um, for the Blizzard Tank contest. And uh, my entry is going to be on my giant day gecko enclosure. And this is my giant day gecko, and his name's Rex. Um, so yeah, that's him. He's a Madagascan giant day gecko. Felsuma Madagascariensis grandis. Uh, yeah. Um, as for his interior, um, I only have one live plant. It's this, uh, bamboo plant. Runs up here that he's hiding behind. Sorry, there's a fly in there. <laughs> um, sorry, I scared him. Um, so yeah, so here's his tank. Um, I got a cork flat. Um, this is one of his hiding areas. He'll go under there and hide. He doesn't hide often. But when he gets spooked or something, or when I'm vacuuming, freaks him out. Um, I got this fake fern, and he loves to run underneath there and just sit right there. He'll bask right on this vine right here. He sometimes will go on that log. Uh, this is just for looks. Um, one of his favorite hiding spots is, like, back in there. Um, I just let his food just, uh, free roam. And it helps him hunt. He's a really good hunter, so I'm not really worried. Um, sorry about all the ums. <laughs> uh, I have two uh, UV lights. One is bones to stay healthy. I have a 75 watt basking bulb right here. This is a um, 18 by 18 by 24 zoom ed cage. So yeah. That's him. Um, like I said, I just feed him crickets, and I'll give him the occasional crusted gecko diet. But he's not too huge on that, so I only give him to it like once a week, and he'll sometimes go for it, sometimes he won't. Um, yeah, he's a really great pet. He is friendly. He'll come out and sit on your hand for a while. Um, but you really can't grab these guys. Their skin is really sensitive. Uh, you got to keep the humidity up. I spray this thing with this whole bottle. I fill it all the way to the top and I use all of it. Spraying this guy down. And you just gotta use the whole bottle, keep the humidity from 75 to 100 percent. They're definitely not a beginner reptile, but they're really beautiful, really interesting to watch. And if you can tame yours, they're really friendly. I got him when he was like mm, this big, including tail. He was just a hatchling. Like I think what the person did was they caught a bunch of um, day geckos from down in the Keys, the Florida Keys, and uh, while they were in their tank, they had babies, and I grabbed one of the babies because they were only $15, which is an amazing deal for them, and he grew into this guy, and he is almost done growing. He'll get around a foot long if he's a male and eight inches as if, if uh, he's a female. And yeah, that's his tank. That's my contrast entry. Um, if you like what you see here and you want to see more, you can hit subscribe. And uh, to all my other competitors, uh, good luck with your entry. And may the best man win.